what is going on guys it's Trini kid here and today we are going to be talking about what things you need to start a youtube channel of your own if you're thinking about starting one so a few like i think the video said it says seven months ago i did a, this i did the same exact video but it was nothing near as good as quality as like talking like commentating wise i was not up to par to where i should be i was like it was like real bland and just real boring so i'm redoing this video because i think that i should and i think that that video was just terrible so i'll be outlining three things that you need for starting your youtube channel so one thing you'll need is a capture device a second thing you'll need is a microphone that has good quality and the third thing you'll need is uh, editing software and there's a few extras at the end so let's talk about the capture card first now elgato it is 2016 guys elgato is is the dominant game capture device let's be real here they love the hog pog but elgato is just dominating with their capture cards so wait i'm so now i'm about to pull up a, a, a web page of the elgato's website and show you the different the difference between the different capture cards elgato has so the hd60 pro is a capture card that you connect directly to your computer's uh graphics card and it records in 1080p 60 frames it's it has an hdmi input the only difference between this and the hd60 pro is this is built for streamers so this you see instant game like uh there's no delay in what's on your computer screen to what's on your gaming screen or whatever you have you play your game on there is no delay at all but on the hd60 there's a little bit of delay i think it's like three seconds or something like that and then the hd the game capture hd is what i have it does not record in 1080p 60 frames per second but it does 1080p 30 frames per second and it also records like for ps3 and 360 um that but the hd60 does not everything else is the same with all of the other things like you get flashback recording unlimited recordings uh yeah so that that is all for the elgato i highly recommend the, their capture cards they have very good quality and um just a quick disclaimer no one is paying me or no one is telling me to say these things about these products i'm not sponsored by any of these products i have no affiliation with these products i just use them all right so next we're going to be talking about microphones so you need a good microphone for a youtube channel especially in 2016 you cannot be using a iphone microphone that you comes with your iphone because that will just sound terrible compared to a blue snowball or a audio techna or a yeti or any any higher quality microphone um so the one i use is the blue snowball i picked it up for 70 dollars i recommend a, a blue products like blue microphones if you're just starting off youtube because they're really good microphones for not that like they're not expensive at all like my microphone i have the blue snowball and i picked this up for 70 dollars like i said and it's pretty good quality like you can you probably could if you did a test but there's very little to minimum uh difference between like a really expensive microphone and that's what i love about it also i would recommend you pick up a pop filter for your microphone i have one on mine it will block out unnecessary noise like going into the microphone or, like unnecessary breeze in the same room like i have my fan on right now and it's not going into my microphone because i have that pop filter on there so the next thing you need is an editing software so right now i'm using a macbook that powers my setup and i use imovie for mac and there are things for mac uh like final cut pro final cut pro x which i am planning on upgrading in the near future but for starter i think imovie is great it's really simple to work with you, you can do a lot of things with it but for windows i had windows before and i use when uh sony vegas 12 and i really think it's worth the money i'm being honest like it's probably if it's, it's a few hundred dollars but it's really worth the money because i have yet to find an editing software that can compare to it now all you windows users you know there is ways that you can get it illegally but i'm not advertising that i don't recommend doing that because you couldn't get locked up for that you can i think it's like 25 years or like a hundred thousand dollar fine something like that don't do that please if you can't afford it just find some free software out there that you can use so like i said there are a few extras if you want um to add things to your to your gaming equipment so if you want to communicate with people on the system that you have I recommend getting a headset so I use the Xbox one people talk about Astro headsets all the time 
I really don't think they're worth the money. I actually used the Triton Camera headsets and they're extremely comfortable and I game a lot. I game for like, and especially for long periods of time, they don't hurt my ears at all. They're actually, and they actually fit so comfortably. Like my ears fits perfect in the headset and it, it has like great quality and you can hear the game through like the game volume and also chat volume through those headsets and yeah i would recommend if you were getting one i would recommend to try and cameras you could pick them up for like 25 dollars i picked up mine for 25 dollars from gamestop and this is one major thing that you need that i need to look into getting i have one for my xbox but an extra hard drive so i have a terabyte hard drive connected to my xbox which i'm thinking about just using for my laptop because my laptop does not have that uh, good storage. Like Apple does not do great on storage. I, like my laptop only came with 256 gigabytes of storage, and my YouTube folder is probably like most of it. If I was like go check right now, my YouTube folder takes up one minute, 45 gigs of that, and that's not including like editing softwares and and just different things that I have on my computer. Yeah, it, I would definitely recommend getting an extra hard drive for your computer if it does not do good on storage. So that is all I have for you guys. If you do have any questions about any gaming equipment I use, please drop me a question in the comments. I'll answer it right away. If you thought this was a helpful video, drop me a like, please. It is very, very much appreciated. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you haven't already.